Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. So first off, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe because today we got a unique video that requires a bit of a story. Overall in the video, we're going to showcase a building of a custom $500 keyboard start to finish that a good friend of mine built. This was new for me and I asked a lot of questions along the way so I learned also and we decided to put together a video on this. So just so you guys know, we're going to start with the story. Eddie put this together who is the legendary thumbnail artist that you all ask about. Everyone always asks who does the thumbnails? Eddie does who's in this video here. He's also been an editor on the channel and he's a dear friend. So real quick again, Eddie has a huge passion for keyboards and recently has just started building them. They look insane. Like they're crazy. They're awesome. You all know that we all have our ups and downs and a few months ago, I really hurt myself quite badly with a sheet of glass on accident. And no joke, just recently, I really started to feel better and I can finally put on shoes for literally like the first time in like months. Well, when I was having a rough time, Eddie brought me in Discord and surprised me with an insane gift. Eddie and I have worked together a really long time. He wanted to surprise me on Christmas with this insane keyboard, but he could tell I was going through a lot. And I got to watch him put it together over Discord recently once we got all the parts and everything. And I said, you know, we got to make a video on this, share the memory of the experience of this keyboard. I'm going to timestamp everything so you can hear the sound test later if you want and so forth. But Eddie, love you, man. Thank you so much for the amazing gift and everyone enjoy the video. Okay. I'm going to show you a few of these parts. All right. So Let's these are on. one of these uh, fancy USB cables and you like throw them in here. And then basically the idea is you can just unplug it from within reach instead of going to the back of your, your uh, PC. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay, so for the switches, we have Holy Pandas, a combination of the stems of the new ones from Glorious, which are nice. yellow, which is this part right here. And then the blue part is the yoke Polar Pandas. You combine them together, lube them, and you have holy pandas. So what's the difference between those switches and let's say like a switch like from Logitech? What switch does it feel most like? It's very different from what you normally get. Because I know most people recognize a red, brown, or blue. Definitely brown from that list. Browns, Closer to brown? Yeah, browns are what you call tactile. So you press it and then you can sort of feel a little bit of resistance Kind of like a like a a bump, yeah. Right? So this is more of that, except it's more rounded. It's more defined. Yeah, you can definitely feel it a, a lot more. And then these right here, these are parts to make stabilizers, which are to help you make these long keycaps. I guess you could just like press it from the edges, or else it would just like stick. So keycaps are. A very limited run. I believe it's like 204 sets of these made. But we have GMK Merlin. It's a very nice set. And we went with this one because the colors are from your branding. Nice. It's a lot more blue in the video, but just a bit of greenish in person. And then right here, the plate. So the plate is what you stick the switches in and then you put the PCB, which is the electronics under it. And this is the PCB. This is the part that's obviously very important because this is what talks to the computer. Yep. Oh, ripped it. Oh no. Whoops. And it's also on brand too. Nice. And the back a little bit darker. So just a picture. These switches go into these slots, which will yep. be above this one. And the pins of those switches go into these, these little holes right here. And gotcha. on the other side, use the soldering iron to, to lock them in. Yep. Lock them That's in. interesting. It doesn't seem as intimidating to it's actually not. build a key more than I thought. Huh. I'm excited to see you put this together. That's so sick. So far we have the cable the board, the switches, the keycaps. And the case. And the case, yes sir. We got what they call a tofu case in the colorway called E-White. 
And then here's the little bump-ons to put at the bottom, the corners. All right, so the first step into building this would be, I have to set these up, the stabilizers. Okay. So I have to okay. lube them so that it's smooth when you press it, and then they go onto this. And that's, again, for space bar, backspace, those, those big keys. Yeah, any key that is like two units or larger. And by unit, Got I mean it. like one key is one unit, backspace is two. It's the length of two Got of these. It. And then we have this, which is, is that lube. the lubricant. Yep, which is called 205 grade zero and is extremely smooth. Or do you just buy them as stabilizers? Is that what you look up? Like what, is, what, are, what are these? Or they come like in a package together? Um, there's different types of stabilizers. Uh, these are called GMK stabilizers, mm -hmm. and these go directly on the PCB. So you'll see these like two holes right here. Yeah. So they would stick right oh, here. Oh, I see where they have them. Yeah. And then on the other side, you would screw it in, so it stays in Got place. Got it. Cool, cool. And then we have this bar that connects them, so that whenever you press it and you let go, it'll always go back up. Cool. To push the the uh, keycap back up. I'm learning. Hopefully, people are learning too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So for these, there's two parts right here, mm -hmm. and there's a part. Oh, Stabilize through. Okay. Yeah. There's like a hole in the smaller piece that went inside for you to stick the this part. Yep. So when the switch is pressed, it'll be like this. I heard a little click too. Yeah. And then when you let go, it goes back up like this. Nice. But because it's moving, it's a moving part, sometimes it makes a rattling noise, which when you buy a keyboard on the shelf, you know, mainstream keyboards, most of the time they're either badly lubed or they're not lubed at all. So you'll hear this mm. like weird rattling noise that it's just not nice to hear. So yeah. that's why we have the lube to take care of that. And yeah, it's just a matter of putting these together. This is for the space bar, it's a lot longer. Yep. Um, and the other ones that are different shaped are for backspace and shift yeah. and stuff. Smaller ones are for backspace. Enter, awesome. shift. All right, here it is. Are they like actual like artistic paintbrushes that you're using? Yeah. Nice. Just fine, like. Oh, gotcha. This size. Because the idea is to put the lube inside the opening. Yeah. Oh, then, I get it. I get it. And then on this piece, you put it on the size of this because this will be touching the walls of the inside of this one. How long does that last, that uh, lubrication? Um, as long as you take care of it, it doesn't get super dusty. It should last you a long time. Nice. You don't have to worry about it. Okay. So, Go so for this it. is what I mean, where you lube the inside of it. Thankfully, yeah. this is transparent, so you can see a bit more of it, and it's just a thin wall of lube, and that's it. So on this one, you would just do it on the on both sides as well. Mm-hmm. Flip it over. Try not to get lube on your fingers. And now you have, you can sort of see it in the light. Yeah, I see it. Now these two, there's like two holes on this one. Mm -hmm. And only one large one on this side. Find the side with the opening and stick the side that has two holes on it like this. Got it, yeah, I see that. So it looks like this. And then I have to lube basically like the hook part of this and then stick it in there. Lube the hook up to like this point right here. Okay. Because you have to clip it in and it's not, like it doesn't stop right at the edge. So now I can connect one of them and then it should snap into place. You heard the snap. Yep, like that. And then here you see how it would work. 
as you yeah, press the switch. switch go up. Yeah, and the whole point is so that instead of having the switch in the center, mm -hmm. if, if you were to press on the side, it would just like be lopsided. Yeah, that makes sense. And then the rest is just the same. All right. I like it. That's not too bad. You know. You know, it's just you just have all these pieces and... It's crazy. Once you get into the groove and like understand the steps, it's really not that bad. And there we go. All four. Nice. Clean. Good stuff. Um, Technically, we're, we don't need to use the lube anymore, huh? Nope. We're done. It stays clicked in, so it's easy to screw in? Or um, easier? It, it, it's easier. You can sort of see... Yeah, where it falls off. Yeah, like it it does go in. Mm hmm But you have to hold it in place and then screw it. Got it. Oh, nice. It's electronic. That's sick. And there you go. That makes your life easier when it's electronic. Jesus. There's another mod where you put, like, band-aids under the stabilizer so that when you press it, it's like... Um, a what do you mean, like band-aids? You mean like actual physical yeah. band-aids? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. It's basically just to like smoothen or soften the uh, key press of the stabilizer okay. so you don't hear like the noise, but honestly, I'm not needed. And why would you want to have a nicer keyboard layout? What is this called again? The plate? Yeah, why would you want a, a more expensive plate? So different materials changes how stiff or how soft a key press is. Mm -hmm. um, it's just one of the factors. And gotcha. uh, if you change it to like, for example, acrylic, it'll be a bit softer. You know, if this is a lot more durable, this will be a bit mm -hmm. more harsh. Um, but certain materials sound a lot better than others. And Holy Pandas is like perfect with brass. And it just gotcha. happens to be a color that matches your brandy. Nice. <laughs> so here's a switch. Okay. Here's the pins that you need to see. There's two, two pins right here. I see. Is that what you're going to solder in? Yeah. So if you look at the cutouts, you can see how the pins go yep. at the top okay like this except the plate needs to be in between these two there you go nice and that's in place that's one switch a million to go what's the most efficient way to do this is it better to put all of them in first or is it better to pin them into the board um i would definitely put them in the corners so yep. that you can solder them and then you fill in the rest because then Got you it. know that everything is uh, aligned, aligned, leveled. You don't have to worry about if it's like off. And this is what I mean. Hold on. You kind of want the switch to be flush on the PCB. Got if it. It's, if it's lifted like this, that's no bueno. There you go. So now you know that was the correct placement for that one even though there's two different spots got it oh i see what you're doing yeah oh and also since this just happened you can see a little bent pin right there yep super easy to just fix use your nail done how did that happen how did it bend i don't know just in the bag <laughs> just bad it's not anything major you can just use your fingernails to fix that so you want to have ventilated space or at least protect yourself with a mask. You're, or... you're wearing a mask right now? Yeah. I don't know if my voice is muffled, but... No, no, it's fine. Kind of, I see it melted in, yeah. yeah. How long does it take to cool off? Oh, it's done already. I can touch it already. Oh, wow. You're just soldering around the pin, essentially, right? Yeah. Just like these gold contacts and the mm -hmm. pins in the middle. So you want to melt this on it. Yeah. So, so that for sure... And it just will pretty much cover the whole pin. Is that the goal? Yep. That's obviously how it makes contact with the board and so you can have an input, right? Yep. Is there any way to really screw this up? Putting the switch in the wrong contacts or putting too much solder so that it overflows and it goes to other parts where it shouldn't be connecting. This one, for example, 
is pretty close to like the contacts of the USB. So you don't want to overflow it and have them bridge. Nice click. Keyboard ASMR. Someone's going to watch this whole video, they're going to be like, you just kept saying, nice. Nice. It's nice. Nice. That's what's open. That's what's easy. Oh my Except god. The... What? Oh no. What? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> nice. 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 Can you actually... Nice. Let's subscribe for more content. Nice. Nice. I'm gonna die at this rate. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be awesome. Nice. 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 And switch. Click. Nice. Nice. What if this video make it? There we go. Nice. 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 There we go. That's the last one. That's the last noise. Let's flip it over and solder the rest once you solder it in imagine you soldered in but you saw it was bent what do you do that's it uh you have to use a solder sucker to get the solder out and then pull it out but sometimes solder suckers are unreliable and you have to use a different method which i don't have on hand Oof. then then the whole project screwed up <clears throat> this is what i mean so you would use this thing you would heat it up, use this to put it over it, and then press yeah. the button to take it out mm. as it's hot. Moment of truth. Now the take fun it. part. We just get to smack all those keycaps on. Ooh, it's so clean. Ooh. Uh, Moment of truth. Put it in. And then that goes there, and then you can see these holes. Yeah. Put, put in the screws. Pretty much. Congratulations! We have two left over. Nice, nice. Nice. Time to finalize it and put it together. Oh, right. GMK. What was it? Merlin. GMK Merlin. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, I hear it. No, <laughs> no. Nice. Nice. And there you go. And that there you mean. have it. It's done. It's finished. Well worth the wait, man. I like it. The deed is done. We did it, man. You did it. I was just here along for the ride. It's a nice frame. Look at that. Clean. Yeah, it looks nice. Looks good. I can't wait, man. I'm excited. Let's go. Has some heft to it, you know? It looks yeah. good. It's your branding colors. Some top quality stuff right here. Best PCB so you can program it on the fly. And now when you use it on the, on the stream, you're going to have something that matches your branding. There we go. Let's go. Best trade ever. I get money for pizza. You get a keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Easy clap. So worth it. You need to see it in person. I'm excited, man. Because the video, these colors, I, I, it's, it's not this. Like what you're seeing, it's not that shade of blue. It's a little bit more of the, like a blue green. green. Yeah. I appreciate you, dude. Seriously, that was huge. When you like, I, I think that was when I hurt my toe and all kinds of crazy sh stuff was happening. You're like, bro, I got you a keyboard. Yeah. I'm like, oh hell yeah. I was holding off. I meant to do it a lot earlier, um, but I was like, ah, oh, but I need to do so much. I need to, I need to actually record a bunch of stuff, and then send it to you, without you knowing, and that's. Uh, Gonna take a, yeah. a lot of time to plan that out, but then you had a really bad day, and I was like, you know what? Let them know. Yeah, that was a rough day, dude. Let them know what's happening.